Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering unboxing. So this is going to be an unboxing of the new Deck Builders Toolkit for M13. Uh, the Deck Builders Toolkits have been released before. There was one in 2011 and one in 2010. The good thing they've done now is that they've coincided the release with the core set release. Uh, whereas before these came out in sort of spring, now they come out around the core set in July and that really helps if you want to be using these cards for playing in standard because what's in here is going to stay in standard a lot longer because of that. So inside of one of these you have 125 semi-randomized cards and I'll show you how that randomization works. Four 15 card booster packs, 100 basic lands, a deck builder's guide, a Magic Learn to Play guide and a full art reusable card storage box which is what this thing is. So let's open this up see what we have inside. As I've said, the box is actually our card box. And then we have nickel bolus on the on the box. So let's see what we have here. So I'll try and just break this down. What I'm going to do is sort of unbox this in order of um, randomness, I suppose is the word I'm looking for. So let's just try and break this up, try and get some feel for how this holds together. Okay, so over this side we have effectively the least random component of the toolkit. So we have our land and then some mainly commons and a few uncommons. In the middle we have this little pack, this, this should, if it's like the other sets, contain 44 cards in total. Um, and what it is actually is it's four groups of 10 cards sandwiched between Evolving Wilds. And then the four boosters, which is obviously the most random element of this particular toolkit. And not surprisingly, it's one each of Innistrad, Dark Ascension, Avacyn Restored and the new Core Set 2013. When I come to open these up I'm going to pan back a bit and, and do this on a grid but the rest of the stuff I'm going to open up real close. So we'll start off with this little pile here. So let me just zoom in. So first up here is our land. And we'll just take a quick look at the, the artwork here. So this pack contains all land. You actually get a hundred land, a hundred basic land in this set. So of course one of the other packs contains the rest of the land. I can actually get this off. Well, <laughs> that's better. So anybody that saw me unbox the, unbox the fat pack. Um, will probably already be familiar with what artworks here but I'm just going to flick through this if you haven't seen this particular artwork before so <clears throat> as with all magic cards these seem very slippery when they first come out so you can see I was fine with the core sets, they seem to have a very much standard look and feel to this and in actual fact I'm sure that this, this particular artwork has been used several times before. But you sort of get an idea here for the, uh, the different artwork that they've got for the different um, colours of mana. So anyway that's our part of our land. I'll just go through here. I don't know if we've seen some swamps yet. So for each you can see you basically get four types of artwork. 
for each colour of mana. Okay, so we'll open up another pack here and just see what we find. So what I'm looking for at the moment is just the rest of the land, so we can just get take those out. Here we go. So this pack contains part of it is land. And again, same artwork as we've just seen. So I'll put that to one side. So that's our, our hundred basic lands. Now what do we have here? Okay, so what I'll do is actually open these together because they this as I've said, the these particular cards don't change regardless of what the what um you know however many packs of these uh toolkits you bought, these cards would always be the same. What I'm trying to say. Okay, so first you'll find you get all commons, and these will be from a variety of different sets. Uh, Gold Caller's Bell, uh, um, and then, like I said, these are all commons. Elgard Inquisitor, so now we move on to White. Voice of the Provinces. Attendant Knight. Cathedral Sanctifier, and if you just keep an eye on the uh, set indicator there, the set icon, you'll see that they, you know, which set they're from. Chapel Geist. Niblis of the Mist. Seraph of Dawn. Griffin Protector. Glorious Charge, Safe Passage, Pacifism, there's two of those, and you will find duplicates of certain key cards in this toolkit as well. Cloud Shift, Urgent Exorcism, Not, that's better. Mist Raven, so moving on to blue, Stormbound Geist, Griff Vanguard. These will not stay still. Arch Archer Mancer, Deranged Assistant, Welkin Turn, there's two of those. Scroll Thief, Thought Scour. Essence scatters. You can see there's a lot of classic blue here. Negate, all classic commons. Divination, curse of the bloody tomb. Tome. Encrust, and moving on to black. Vampire interloper, Liliana's shade, ravenous rats, blood hunter bat, tormented soul. Driver of the Dead, Markov P Patrician, Ghoul Caller's Chant, Sign in Blood, Murder, Two Murders, A Duress, Dead Weight, Victim of Night, and moving on to Red, we have Pitchburn Devils, Torch Fiend, Blade Tusk Boar, Forge Devil, Hairs of Stromkirk, Rummaging Goblin, Fire Elemental, Searing Spear, Traitorous Blood, Brimstone Volley, Demolish, Krenko's Command, Pillar of Flame, Two of those. And we're now onto the greens. Borderland Ranger. Avacyn's Pilgrim. Elvish Visionary. Arbor Elf. Two of those. Ambush Viper. Geist Trappers. 
Pathbreaker Worm, Wildwood Geist, Titanic Growth in here, Farseek, Ranger's Path, Natural Ends, I notice these are still all commons, Prey Upon, and now we move on to a small batch of uncommons. If these are very, if these are the same as previous versions of this toolkit, then I think it's two of each, two of each colour. Uh, Crusader of Odric, Oblivion Ring, Taran's Invocation, Niblis of the Breath, Vampire Nighthawk in the toolkit. M13, Abattoir Ghoul, Vulcan Wrath Exterminator, Gang of Devils, Roaring Primadox, and Hollow Hinge Scavenger. So, as I've said, that's the, the part that never changes. In these toolkits. So now let's move on to this um, semi-random element. So as I've said there's uh, 44 cards in here. Um, ten, of, 10 of each of what might be considered either archetypes or strategies I suppose. And if it's anything like previous toolkits um, I believe what you had here was obviously four of uh, each one of those archetypes or strategies, whatever you want to call them, out of a possible 11. And each one, as I've said, is separated by an evolving wild. So we've got evolving wilds in here. Now, unfortunately, without the benefit of a, of a list like I've had in previous unboxings, I can't um, necessarily or accurately determine what these might be from. But obviously, as more people open toolkits you're probably able to get to see what's you know what is the whole pool of these archetypes or strategies so we've got intangible virtue moan of the unhallowed captain's call gather the townsfolk vile rebirth so this looks like it's some sort of black white tokens Lingering Souls, Goodnight Redeemer, Attended Night, A Vile Rebirth, Glorious Charge. So that's our first one. So like I said, it looks like some sort of black white tokens, archetype or strategy, whatever you want to call it. Our next Evolving Wilds. Roaring Primadox, Acidic Slime. Borderland Ranger, Elvish Visionary, Yeva's Force Mage, Mourn, is that Mourn Vully Beast Tracker, Briar Pack Alpha. And as I'm going through the, these, you'll notice that you know you're going to get commons, you're going to get uncommons, but you won't get any rares in this. Briar Pack Alpha. Borderland Ranger, Bond Beetle, Timberland Guide. So looking at the different cards and the abilities on here, just going back through, it looks like we've got some sort of green counter thing and pump going on with this particular group of cards. Just seeing if I see any real big green no, so I'm not too sure what this would be described as, but there's definitely a few here with counters and a few with like pump abilities on it, and there's a bit of ramp as well in here. Next, evolving wilds, Knight of Glory, Angelic Benediction, Guardians of As Akrasa, Haven Squire, Duty Bound Dead. Knight of Infamy, Dusk Mantle Prowler, and another Guardians of Akrasa, 
Servant of Neferox. Several of these have exalted on them. Cobbled wings. So in here we've got um, some exalted. Yeah, actually they're all exalted. So this is a, a black white exalted strategy or archetype. Next evolving wilds, gallows warden, drug drugs drug skull captain. So it's like this is going to be blue white. Uh, blue white spirits I suspect with, with this being in it. Uh, Guy Snatch, Voiceless Spirit, Ghostly Possession. Battleground Geist, Midnight Haunting, Voiceless Spirit, Feeling of Dread, and a Spectral Prism. So yeah, blue-white, um, blue-white spirit deck. Not surprisingly, there have been you know, a lot of flyers because of that. Let's go back through that. Okay, so now we move on to the, the totally random component. Um, the only non-random thing I suppose is you actually know what set these are going to come from. So let's just go through in the order that these were released and have a look at these. So now what I'm going to do is just pull the camera back a bit so I can arrange these out on this grid and then you get a better overview. I'm going to try and bring these up to the camera as well because I know when I've done this in the past, not everybody can get a clear view on this and um, often YouTube doesn't do a very good job of compressing the videos. So I'm going to start off with ooh, Innistrat. So first up we have uh, Dead Weight, Unruly Mob, Dream Twist. So I suppose what we're looking for here is any cards that are, are going to fit nicely with the strategies or archetypes that were in our semi-random element. Uh, Moon Heron, so we've got something with flying here. Spirits, that's going to go in with that. Traitorous Bond. Markov Patrician, I think we had one of these, but in our non-random component, I think. Stitcher's Apprentice, Mulch, Stitch Drake, got a Spider Spawning, which is a, a first uncommon, Village Cannibals, Full Moon Rise, have a Kessing Wolf Run as our rare, Zombie Token, a um, double-faced, um, I can't remember these called, these are like cards for marking off double-faced cards, and then find our actual double-faced card we have in here which is Screeching Bat, which is um, an uncommon and flipping to Stalking Vampire. So just a quick overview here of what we got. So we got some blue flyers there. Um, what else have we got? Uh, Full Moon Rise which is going to give werewolf creatures we control plus one plus zero and have trample. I can't remember whether there were many werewolves in, in this particular toolkit. And another one here, we got um, add encounters um, onto our creature, onto our village cannibals. So that might fit in well with one of those um, strategies archetypes that we had in here. So anyway, that's that was the uh, first uh, booster pack. We'll move on to Dark Ascension.
Okay, so. Here we go, so our commons, executioner's hood, forge devil, headless scab, tragic slip, crushing vines, nibbles of the mist, bone to ash, Divination, Rack with Madness, and our Uncommons, Tower Geist, Faith Shield, Thraben Heretic, our rare is Vault of the Archangel, we have a Spirit Token, a Double Faith Card Marker, and Chalice of Life, so this is another uncommon flippable card, flips to Chalice of Death. So again we've got a couple of spirits in here, so this again would go with our spirit uh, strategy archetype. And then some zombie stuff, um, got Morbid as well, I don't know if I saw much Morbid in, in, the, in the toolkit. And of course, Fateful Hour as well in this pack. So, have us in restored. Okay, so first up Soul Cage Fiend, Uncanny Speed, Lair Delve, Abundant Growth, Riot Ring Leader, Leap of Faith, Somberwold Vigilante, Essence Harvest, Driver of the Dead, Galvanic Alchemist, and now moving on to our Uncommons, Into the Void, Lightning Prowess, Lightning Mauler, and we've got a Cavern of Souls as our rare. Oh, no, our, yeah, our rare, sorry. Um, so for that one, it's Cavern of Souls enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Tap, add one colour to your mana pool, or you can tap, add one mana of any colour to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type, and that spell can't be countered. And then a mountain there. Okay, so again, I just hold that on camera for a little while so we can just take a look at what we have here got a soul bond there i think that's still oh, this another one um something that basically gives plus one plus zero to um human creatures when this card attacks okay Finally, our 2013 pack. Okay, so we have Fog in the deck, Fog in the pack, Silvercoat Lion, Bloodhunter Bat, Disentomb, Sentinel Spider, Turn to Slag, Fairy Invaders, 
Goblin Arsonist is in the call set. A Divine Verdict. Duskdale Worm is our um, uncommon, and because we've got an uncommon one slot earlier, this would indicate that this has probably got a foil in it. Uh, Ring of Val Valkas. Now we have a Vampire Nighthawk, which is really handy because we've got one in the actual toolkit. That's pretty good. Okay, so our rare is a nice legendary creature. Neferox, Overlord of Grixis. Four and two black, flying exalted. Whenever Neferox, Overlord of Grixis, attacks alone, defending player sacrifices a creature. So this would fit in nicely with our exalted um, strategy section that we got in our uh, semi-random part. And we have our token forest. And finally, oh, we've got a nice um, foil rootbound crag. <clears throat> so we can use this to uh, generate either red or green mana. And it enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a mountain or a forest. So again, I just hold this on camera for a little while so we can get a bit of an overview. So again, blue flyers. We've got a, a spider there, which has got reach, obviously handy for dealing with um, creatures with flying in a green deck. And our vampire nighthawk. Okay, so there we have it. So basically, that's the um, most recent Deck Builders Toolkit, released um, at the same time as the core set release, so making it much better, I think, the timing on that. There we have our box. Okay, thanks for watching.